I'll just call this one down into the line. So, oh, a little wee, yep, let him play on. It looks like ball going to ground. So what do you think, mate? Touch footy? Yeah, no, it's a good sport, good fun. And do you play yourself? I, I have played. Um, yep. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's great to get out and get active. Yeah, excellent, mate. So, you know, this tournament here has been going around for ages, over 460 teams here. It's exciting. So with the tap-off of each game, both teams get a chance to tap off. So we saw Groves put the ball down, then the ball comes back to the middle, and the other team get a chance to tap off because there's only one half, so we don't have two halves. Yes. So as a result of that, the rules get adjusted a little bit, but this is used internationally by a lot of places. So it tends to work, and we see, get to see both teams tap off move straight away. It's what I love about it. So we see at the moment... Emmaus looking to dive into the line. They're going to pick up a try there in that far side wing. Well done. So there we go. Emmaus, boom. Go up straight away in this match. 15 boys matchup. So you get to see both teams and try out there on the far away. side. That's what I love about it. There's a good little play coming so down see at the, the right moment. Side, just drawing Emmaus looking to into the line. They're going to pick up a try there in that boom, far side wing. Boom, easy as you like in that far side there. So as I call through the Groves Christian, Christian College team, number one. Chaz Milmo, three, Ihaka Tipine, four, Bo Kolila, five, Heilala Takataka, nine, Seth McDonald, ten, David Tavita, fourteen, Kobe Hanna, fifteen, Dallas Tuake, twenty, Zion Tassi, twenty-five, Connor Morse, twenty-seven, Lemoto Lemeki, seven, Roberto Aholo Ubi, and eleven, Joshua Kemp for our Groves Christian College team with the ball at the moment, mate. Let's have a look, Groves just attacking the line. Let's see the moment. Tuaki passes off. Oh, a little bit of dancing, calling in for a half here. Then we're going to see a quick play. Zion Tassi with the ball at the moment. Boom, flicks it back, and there we go. Ball going to ground. I've got Emmaus College, Jim Boone, but their team list looks Jordan Dirksen, Caleb Dirksen, Noah St. Ledger, Noah Bennett, Josiah Javel, Spencer Camaro, William Hood, Lawson Muller, Toby Muller, Kane Agarling, Lachlan Morgan, Austin Mann, Cooper Turner, and Jake Handy. Awesome. There we go for all those folks at home. Beautiful. So Groves Christian College currently just inside the seven. Nice little sweeper and has a dive at the line. Ihaka Tipene seems very comfortable with the ball in hand. You can see him with his bucket hat out there as well. Couple of buckies. Oh, your ball coming back. Oh, Zion with the plant. Passing it off. Tipene has the ball again. Dancing around in that far side link channel. Oh, we're having a dive at the line. Oh, great touch though. Yep, well touched. Easy as you like over there, far side. Little pop off and well rounded up. So great defense, far side there by Jamumba. Oh, he's taken off down the far side though. Look at the gas. Great chase. You saw the head go down, eh? Josiah was out of here, but not to be outdone. Great chase there by Connor Morse. Man. I don't know how these kids play in some of those hats there, Josh. <laughs> be blowing off my head, mate, that little one that's out there. It looks like a Sunday hat. At least that's unsafe, Tristan. Oh, sun safe, my man. That's what it is, brother. Oh. So player didn't actually release the ball there. So if he'd released it on the ground, would have been caught out. We see a nice little draw pass, pop over. And that well rounded up. I've done well to break down the field here and... Just looking to capitalise on the field possession they've got at the moment. Love it. Let's see a nice little dummy. And then tries a big rip out the back. Yeah, and gave away easy field position. So, remember the main thing here in touch football is in that last touch, we don't want to give up any field position. It's hard enough having to defend the 60 metres as it is without giving them an extra 10. So it looks like Groves are happy just to cruise down the middle of the field though. There's not too much intensity coming out of their rucking set. But the goal, remember, is on attack to be at halfway on touch three. Teams defending, they want to hold you to touch four by halfway. So these guys here are going to have to go for a little late scoop here. They're just trying to beat people one on one. When this fella gets the ball, you can hear him winding up. Let's just come to this channel. And yeah, well caught. Nice defense there. They weren't under too much threat there, were they, mate? No, not at all. Very good defense, and now they'll get on the attack. Nice, and we just see them drift across the field. Nate, it's a nice draw pass. They should have numbers down this far side. Ooh, just didn't want to take off, though. So it's like Jake Hendy, easy to spot there. Running around in the Sunday hat. You can see him, beauty. Got him down. Nice as the boys look to come out the back. 
Boom, oh, just a bit of soft footwork, spreading the ball. And done, just their intensity offside there, play on referee will have. Oh no, happy. So the distance here, folks, is seven metres when a touch is made. Um, as evidence, you can see a seven metre line when you get to the try line. So anytime the ball's dumped on that line, the players have to go all the way back to the try line. But a nice touch, well rounded up there by Groves. So it looks. So for those folks at home, sorry, it looks like there are a couple of number double ups by the players there in the Emmaus team as well. So we may have called a couple of them wrong. Um, but I will just have a look at that after the game. Try and get those corrected for another game if they're back here on field one. So Grove's about to come into halfway, but as we said, they're just happy to sort of cruise through their rucking set. You are not going to see anything too intense from them. You can see at the moment, mate, they're dumping the ball without a half there or without a runner, so it's going to be quite hard for them to pick up that momentum. It'll be a little bit of X Factor, a little wee goosey goosey whack, I reckon, <laughs> that'll break a line if need be. Well, of course, the game of touch is based around momentum, isn't it? So, well, it is, mate, trying to absolutely. Drive through the orange zone, as I heard you call it earlier. That's right. It's quite funny that you say that, mate. We go for, as we see a little breakaway dummy, Lachlan Morgan takes off down this near side. If that is Lachlan, though, there's two 12s out there. So there's, yeah, like I said, folks at home, sorry, we have a couple of number double ups. So two 12s out there, and I wonder if that is Lockie that just scored. But yeah, mate, so with the teams that I coach, I go for momentum over metres. So instead of trying to run around everyone and pick up an extra two metres, I'd rather that we picked up one metre at full speed and then the next one we'll pick up five, then you pick up 12, then you pick up 20, and you got them on the back foot, mate, you run over the top of them, of course. So yeah, absolutely, with a, it appears to be, you know, quite a big field, but when someone's stomping at you and they're going fast, <laughs> man, it can, everything can happen so quickly. But yeah, score's currently 2-0, Emmaus Jimboomba over Groves Christian College. There's still 18 minutes left to go in this game, heaps of time. This is day one at the 2022 Gold Coast Titans All Schools Touch Championship, and the weather here is beautiful, mate. Yeah, you can't ask for much better weather, a nice breeze blowing by. That's right. But of course, the sun's out, that's the best part of it. Yeah, it is, man. And as long as the rain stays away, we'll have a beautiful <laughs> event here for this week. So, the kids are up for it, mate. They don't need too much sunscreen at the moment. It's just nice touch footy playing weather. So, Groves, bring it to this near side here. A little soft wrap, but a great lift by the winger, almost running their winger out of room on that last touch. So turnover, well defended. Not too many questions being asked there of the Mayas College, Jim Boomba. Nice easy pick, nice and loud from the referee, I can hear him. Oh! An easy pick goes straight down the field, Austin Mann. Picks up easy meters. Mueller with the dump. Pass off again to the try scorer and over in that far corner. Did he get there? Referee has play on. Try to William Hood in that far side corner. Wow. Some Talk us through the replay, man. Yeah, no, again, down that right hand side, they attack and just numbers and picking the right pass at the right time. There was a good lunging effort for a touch, but just couldn't get there in the end. Oh, yeah, good dives. Tell you. Championships are made of people that dive like that. It was that Connor Morse, fully extended, and that far side there. So here we go, Groves getting a tap. Bringing the ball all the way back to halfway. Actually, they don't have the ball. The ball's gone missing. Yep. Looks like the coach on the side might have it. Nope. Oh yeah, there he is, ball down, gotcha. Nice. A little bit of footwork there by Taka Taka. Oh, player called offside and going to ground. Tip in here, just picking up some extra meters. So let's see the boys coming together. They can pick up in the middle. Ooh, ah. He's got great footwork, man. If he can just get a little bit of touch footy around him, hey, we can start to use that footwork. All right, let's see all the boys in the line. You can see from here, from probably the vision you've got in the commentary, they're all standing in a flat line together. So no depth and no timing. I find it really hard for the boys to run onto the ball and create a bit of an extra, you know, overlap or a short side on a shoulder. Oh, referee will penalise for a ball thrown away there. <laughs> just tucked through the ruck. Nice, so march 10 metres for not making the ball available on the sport of touch footy. So there goes the 10 metre turnover. Boys definitely giving up easy metres. So that's touch one. This will be touch two on halfway as we see the ball go to ground. So tough bit of momentum just yeah. started to kick there, Josh. 
And that's the thing, when you've got momentum, you want to make the most of it. If you give away a silly error and turn the ball back over, then you've got to get on the defensive end once again. So I'll be a bit disappointed there, Emus College. And then a dummy half pickup. That's right. So big turnover, here we go. Yeah, that's a nice play, the ball. This ball was turned over. Picking up the extra pass, release, release. And that's just good game management. You're at the right end of the field. Touch two, coming into the seven meter line. It's gonna give themselves three shots at the line once they get there. Still pushing though. Nice bit of a set play being worked up. And boom. Pass and wrap, get around, there it is. Oh, he could score there. Oh, he was having a look with the ball in two hands. I reckon he could have dropped and put that one over the line. And he definitely had him back on the underneath as well, on the inside. So lots of space out there. Good pressure. That's the kind of defense you need. Oh, just a big right foot step. And ball chucked away. Nice. So Toby Mueller then just cutting through the line. It was a big right foot step, wasn't it, Tristan? Yeah, it was. Dumped it. Got through the line and think. scored well. Boom. Nice. And we saw the defender rush up because he came up on his own. The team didn't go with him. There wasn't an opportunity for them to smother that at all. So Groves Christian College just haven't been able to make their way down the field and, and throw much at Emus. What do you suggest for them to, to do? What would you be advising them? Mate, if I was in the sub box, it was just energy. Yep. Energy, I mean, touch football is won by the most energetic, the people that uh, are more enthusiastic mm. and, you know, they have more effort in yeah, all those yeah. effort areas. So, yeah, it's just one of those energy games. I mean, you know, you turn up to a social game of touch footy and there's one guy out there trying harder than everyone else and you think, oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, <laughs> you know, and that's what these tournaments are like. So I look at all of these guys out here. Here he goes, we see a bit of energy. They create a bit of space. It's going to have a crank. Gets there. There we go. Nice. So I bring that down to Hey Lala Taka Taka as he took off over to this side of the field, opened them up with a bit of energy. And then we were able to see the ball go back inside Bust. and a nice little run around. And there he goes, busts on through. So Seth McDonald gets it over the line there for Groves. Looked like he's doing a bit of a hane playing with the arms out too there at the end. <laughs> well, good to see a bit of energy and a bit of flair. There you I go, that's, that's all point. it is. That's exactly all it is. So nice, bringing the scores back to four tries to one. It does show us that Groves can get over that try line, which is really important. So stop one, score one, and they could be back in the game here with 12 minutes to go in this 15 boys game. Great touch there in the middle. So here we go, boys, happy just to pull it up. And having a look around. They're gonna try find the middle that they want. You see 12 and eight working together and beautiful dive at the line. Oh, nice touch. So we have two 12s and two 8s out there. That's our number double ups. So it could be Lachlan Morgan and Jake Hendy together. Let's have a look. And just a pass out to no one. Great touch there on this near wing side by the try scorer. McDonald. And fast turnover. So McDonald looks like he wants to go, mate. I'm looking at him. Look at him <laughs> jogging him behind the half. I'm telling you, he's got more energy to burn. And a no touch there. So great work by the defender pulling out of the touch. Fast turnover. Oh! And just got excited. Yeah, the ball was just a bit low. Just yeah. didn't give his winger the best chance of catching it. Yeah, that's that half space that we think we've seen. It's only a half space, not a full one, but great first touch. And picks up 17 metres off the first touch. Hey, like Josh Papaletti off the back fence, that one was. Boom, and takes the second touch and pretty much got his team to halfway on his own. So great rucking. Love to see people getting behind these three. This is where the energy comes from at the moment, mate. Here he goes, boom. Setting them up, moving them around, release the ball, great. Get him back to the middle. So what they really want to do is get to the seven and then start to move the ball around. So once these players are inside the seven, they must now move forward until a touch is made. They can't just hang out and go sideways. Yep. Boom, oh, pass to the winger there, try time. Nice, here we go, I see Groves out there at the moment. McDonald working with Tippinier. Boom, tips go. got him. Good. Oi! Referee's right on the mark. What are we calling? Touch. Deuce. It's a very hey. good defence. He had his work cut out for him, didn't he? A little pass to the he? winger and he would have had yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Know? So, yeah, definitely as the 
longer the game goes on, the more likely Groves look to score in the try, but we do see a breakout here by Amaeus Jamboomba. And that's really nice for the first touch. Just picking up that nice, easy 20 metres. Boom, into halfway, and the player's head goes down. You don't have to look around for that one. They tell you. <laughs> you know, just by looking. We saw him drop, so here we go. Groves with the ball. It's like these little fast, fleet-footed fellas. No, good, nothing in that. Jumping around. Happy with that. Boom, first. Nice, and defence just rolling up and back. Here it is, a little bit of energy. We'll see Tiffany bring the ball forward, looking to skip around again. And nice, the boys in here. So they're going to head across, coming back to the ball. McDonald on the ball at the moment. The attacking line's really flat, need a bit of depth if they're going to pass, but we're just trying to sort of score in ones off the first phase at the moment. Because need to build a little bit of pressure. Oh, gives them a one on one. Pretty tough scenario into the last play. So the coolest thing about touch footy is the seven metre offside trap once a touch is made. So once a touch is made, everybody is offside for seven metres. And one of the nuances of the game is learning how to manipulate that offside trap while people are trying to get onside. A real challenge there, as we could see for Groves as well. So nice, great turnover by Emmaus. They do know how to go forward and at speed. They're about to pick up their first touch on that far sideline there, about five metres out from halfway. Oh, no worries, there we go, someone's yelling. So let's see if we can pick that one up. Nice extra. Oi! And pops it off here and gets rounded up. So let's see what they can do at that attack into the field. Okay, boys out there. Tucks it under the arm. A little pop off. Oh. Yeah, as soon as he tucked it under his arm, he couldn't really <laughs> pass. And then the passing time came. They definitely created the space and have the numbers there. Yes. Okay, let's see. So Groves, once again, in touch with no dummy half from behind. So downtime is really important. The amount of time the ball spends on the ground, there it is from the time it's played to the time that it's picked up, because um, the defenders generally will go when the dummy half is in position. So as you can see, the rucking was a little bit clunky at the back end there. Not many options in Groves turning the ball over to a Mas Jimboomba in really good field position. So some big defense now needed by Groves. Six great touches. And boom, but they could punch straight through here. Here it is, has the extra. So offside, Link's offside at the moment. Player goes out the back. Oh, good touch. Well rounded up on the inside. It's a good cover defense to support. Zion was there. So no worries, mate. The ball back to the middle. Let's see what the boys have got. Oh, he skips across sideways. Try scorer Toby, setting it up, dive at the line. Great touch. Yeah, Tiffany was on the line right there. Johnny on the spot. And picked it up. Wow. So, fifth touch. So one touch left to play. Great sprint off the line there to put pressure on. They should have them all trapped over there. Woo. It's a good defensive set. It was great. Yep. Great D. Some fast feet out there on that far side wing, but this is the part that's leading them down. This energy part there, uh, as we see the ball go to ground. Yep. So I know the Sharks men's open team that I have a little bit to do with through coach Chris Loth, they talk about touches seven and eight. So there, they make six touches and then touch one and two off the line are just as important and it's all part of that same set there, you know, of getting them out of that sort of red zone trouble area. Here we go, nice little one, it finds that link through space. Beautiful, great try. And I just really like the pre-positioning of the link there. He came out wide early, created a running line opportunity and ran at space. Didn't have to go looking for it. I just had to snag over, over low, the left-hand side. A nice bit of guile running through holes. It's another try. Yeah, it was good. Found the ground too, just in case there was a dive or somebody coming from. But it was nice. So you'll notice this weekend, Josh, as you, you know, get around the fields, running holes and hole running is a big thing you work on with the kids, especially through 13s and 15s. And a lot of the teams probably leave half a dozen tries out there on the field mm. just due to not knowing alignment or positioning or even standing wide and running into space. So in touch footy, people think we need to create space all the time. But with six players on the field, there's seven spaces on yep. the field. Everybody has an outside shoulder and then there's that one space between the middles. And getting reps under their belt at carnivals like this Absolutely, is the best way to do it. Absolutely, man. 
But yeah, there's always you know seven opportunities on the touch field for you to for you to run run through or send a pass through. Boom. Oh, soft goosey there. Oh, round the back. I thought he was going to try and Jordan it around the round the hip, get it back in. But that's okay. We see Amaya straight back on attack, and just happy to chip away through the middle. Oh, big guy and little guy. That's all right. He was just tucked down a bit. Yeah, and just a bit of energy there to win that moment. And a great dive though, far side. And referee's happy with awarding that try. So well, you're just coming very through well the midfield. Up in AMA's college in yeah, yeah, just nice and simple. They've um, got players that play roles very well. Now they've got their rewards with another try. Beautiful, gets the, the runaway. Look at that dive at the end though. <laughs> Effort, eh? <laughs> Effort. Those dives make the highlights real. The scores are relevant, trust me. Hey, if he'd got him there, we would have been showing it for days. So beautiful, there we go, tap off. Yep, and picks up about eight meters off the tap. And a great lift on that far side there by the defense. Damn, man, he's gotta be tired. All the stepping he's been doing in this game. Nice, and now they're at the right end of the field, on the seven meter line, defense on the try line. And now when we get our footwork going. So just in twos here, instead of them trying to each take a turn at the line. You know, pair up with a dummy half, get a quick play. But unfortunately, we see the ball go to ground. So Amaius will just go straight up the centre here and punch away. They may find these little wrappers that they've found on that far side. Boom, there we go. So that's two so far. And he could be away again for three. Well done. Defence all there back to the ball. Haven't seen the scooper go. Tries the old jump pass. Yeah, probably had another chance to go on that one. But anybody that wears one yellow boot and one blue boot has a <laughs> jump pass in them. Let me tell you that. Hey? I've been told by many people I don't know style, but I know style when I see it. Hey? I don't have to be styly, I tell you. Nice. So there we go. We're going to see the boys take off. And that's really nice first meters on that first touch to set the momentum. And then just no one there to back it up to give us two or three in a row. So it is the 2022 Gold Coast Titans All Schools Touch Football Championships up here at the Gold Coast Performance Centre in Runaway Bay. It's 15 boys division. Amaius Jambuba currently six tries to one over Groves Christian College. You see the next few teams rolling on in. So we have the 13 boys and girls, 15 boys and girls go for the first few days in this event. And then on Friday, all the 18s roll into town. 18 boys and girls in the 18 mixed, mate. You look like you could almost play in one of those divisions, <laughs> dude. Hey, yeah. Nah, man, these kids are good, eh? I'd hate to be out there. They are very talented. Yeah, there's a little right foot step, and they're just tricking out this near sideline. Trying to get a turnover. Nice turnover, well defended. And Emmaus, just casual as you like. There you go, just going to knock away, straighten up. And boom, so able to go from sideline to sideline to get their first touch. I mean, as you can see though, what I would say, uh, Groves also only have eight players in the game. Um, whereas Amaius Jamboomba, it appears, have a full kit, so they're running 14. So some of the things you do see here at the All Schools are those kind of scenarios. Yeah, great way to hold on to the ball. So they get a turn over there right on the seven. Coming out to this near side, hole runners, divers, and there he goes. Or it's a really nice touch, far side. Yep, great work to back his teammate up. Let's see what they can do here. Boom, gets a quick play, full feedback, footwork, and dive at the line. Nice try. Yeah, I'd be paying that all day. Nice, out of the Emmaus team. There's been a few of them that have played really well, but number 10 absolutely has had a wonderful game. I'm sorry, mate, with your team list here, I don't have a 10 on the list, so I can't call you, but that was a really nice try, and I think you've had a wonderful game today, mate. Yeah, great. Great pick up by the cameraman. Johnny on the spot. We saw the ball just hit the ground before the touch was made on the back. Timing. Nice, so... Just remember, while you're here on the Gold Coast, folks, you've got a little bit of time. Um, make sure you head out to Village Roadshow theme parks. So home to some of the most thrilling rides and entertainment in the world. Just quietly, I may have worked there for a wee while. 
And um, yeah, great fun. You get out there, hang out with those character suits. Some of those really good rides get around to that DC coaster area as well. There we go. As we hear the final who to go in this 15 boys game. Seven tries to one. What do you think, Joshy? Yeah, no, they played very well in A's College. And I think play's been called up. But yeah, no, they played very well in A's College. Nice. As we see them flick the ball around there at the end. Game's over. Referees, I don't think have called that one. Yeah, they've brought it back. Nice, folks. I'm just going to head down and have a chat with this great crew.